joint is injured, there is adherence between the multiple tissue layers, that, for example, the dorsal apparatus. In my opinion, there are three core reasons why PIP extension is so difficult to regain. That with the MP joint extended, primary muscle is most likely the interosseous. I am pulling proximally on the extensor digitorum communis on a cadaver specimen. And you can see clearly the role of the extensor digitorum communis when no other muscles are active. The sagittal band fibers first must move proximally for this force to occur distally. You can see here that we are only about halfway on that proximal lever arm of the proximal phalanx because the metacarpal phalangeal joint is here. And I'm going to immerse it into this water and then squeeze it ever so slightly. You want this to be wet because it will dry too quickly on you if it's not wet. Once I have gotten this wrapped on, I now can hold here and I can press there because remember underneath it's hard and I now can position that PIP joint exactly. The material is quickly applied to the volar aspect of the finger and pinched together dorsally. This example is using a self-adherent elastic wrap which allows you to very gently maintain full extension for prolonged periods of time. Not only is the PIP joint extending, but it's also flexing. There's differential movement one direction, and then returning, there's differential movement the other direction. I'm now going to mold it so that the ring finger MP joint is going to be relatively flexed compared to the two adjacent joints. I've heated the material, and this time we want to block the metacarpal phalangeal joint of the little finger. The patient lacks a lot of extension and only a little flexion. 